Hey, Stanley. Oh, you are, you are ready for me? No, no, not yet. Uh, right, um, well, what's the crowd like out there? Hmm, doing the same jokes you did last time? Yeah, more or less. Doesn't matter then, does it? Right, um, what's your name again? Funny, you're a funny guy, you know that? Was the first round of humiliation not enough? Yeah, well, I, I like to feel like I belong here. Mate, you don't belong anywhere. No boss says if you fuck this up again, you're out. Fantastic. Fantastic. Pop, that's real sick. <laughs> I'm leaving the house, Pop. I just want to say goodbye to you. Well, you're going to be one funny comedian. Fuck that, Dad. <laughs> I'm going to be a scientist, Father. I'm going to cure herpes. Huh. Mr. Smarty Pants, Mr. Big Shot now. Nee, 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 you can't go out, you couldn't be funny, eh? One thing you should know about me, my sense of humour is dark, real dark. So dark, in fact, the other day I was shot when I was pulled over. No, I can't do that. Hey, wanna hear a joke about ghosts? That's the spirit. That's the... Okay, no. So, a paedophile and a small boy are walking through the woods. You know, as they do. The sky is getting real dark and the wind is howling the horrors of the night. Real scary shit. So, the boy says, Gee, mister, this place is kind of scary. So the man replies, Yeah, well, you think this is bad? I gotta walk out of here alone. I gotta walk out of here alone. A comedian's supposed to be funny. Right. I believe so. Fascinating. What do you want? The man walks into a bar and says, Whiskey? Uh. You know, I don't drink that shit. I know. It's man's drink. What do you want? If you're not actually considering performing again, are you, Stan? I don't need your infamous wisdom, not tonight. I'm just concerned. Are you? <laughs> Jesus. Do you look at this fucking place? Here again? I feel like we've been trapped in here for an eternity, Stan. It's the end of the road for us. Short road. Leads to a cliff edge. Enough. What are we really doing here, Stan? Performing to drunken middle-aged failures on a Wednesday afternoon with dog piss on the floor and the smell of death in the wallpaper. There's nothing wrong with the... This place is fine. Fine. Please, it's the only place that will have you. 
you're a shit comedian performing in a small town pub in the middle of fucking nowhere. Hey. I'd say that's a pretty shitty somewhere to be starting, Stan. I mean, just look at your situation. You left everything and anyone that ever cared about you behind to be here. You dropped out of uni to be here. And for what? Look, I'm still young, okay? I'm just trying to find my purpose. <laughs> <laughs> your purpose? What, what purpose? Well, I don't know. That's why I'm trying to find it. Oh, oh, let me know when you do. Did you check under the settee? Between the fucking cushions? Hi. Hey, perhaps your self-confidence and manhood's down there too. You could write a joke about that. It could be your first piece of original material. Who do you really think you are? A comedian has to be funny. You do realise this, yes? I, I mean, you just told me earlier. I mean, who are you? George Carlin? No. Ricky Gervais? No. Robin fucking Williams? Maybe. You know, under the right circumstances, I could be exactly like him. He was miserable. He was loved. He killed himself. That's not... relevant. <laughs> relevant. You're not cut out for this, Stan. I know you aren't. You know you aren't. You're just a tired, lonely, pathetic little boy. But you could be so much more if you just listened to me. Not real, you're not. <laughs> I'm the most real thing in this entire fucking room, Stan. Aren't you claustrophobic in here? The way the walls just seem to swallow you whole and won't let you out. Can you breathe in here, Stan? Because I don't think you can. I think you need a change in perspective. I think you need some open air. Don't you dare. Don't you bloody- Isn't that better? Where am I? Do you feel that? The ocean breeze, the endless sky. It's freedom, Stanley. I think I'm gonna be sick. It's freedom. I mean, don't you feel so peaceful out here? Out in the open, the fresh air, away from that fucking room. Where the walls entrap you, where you never leave. Do you really want to be in there, Stan? When you can see all of this? You don't need to be successful. You don't need a career. You definitely don't need to be loved or remembered. Nah, Stan. You need this. I need this. I just want to make people happy. Bullshit! You're not doing this for them, you're doing this for you. You're a carcass, rotting away, forever trying to find the light. And isn't this... better than that? No! All you need to do is walk away. Take control of your life, Stan. You're a fucking arsehole, you know that man? <laughs> God, That's the spirit! God, I don't like it here. It's cold. It's lonely. What a baby! You're fucking pathetic. We just be a man, Stan. Be like me. You know, I don't start whining about wanting to have purpose, wanting to be loved. I mean, I'm free, Stan, I'm everything. I mean, don't you want to be like that? Be like me, look like me, talk like me? You don't want what you want, Stan. You want what I want. I just want to be loved. I'm, I'm alone. <laughs> 
alone. You don't want to feel alone. You want to belong, really, Stan. That's what you want. Please, I... Look at these people. Little people, bloody worthless. Living their little worthless lives. You think being successful will place you above them? You want to be loved by them? Please, you sink into this crowd. You aren't significant, you're just a piece in a larger puzzle. And I'll tell you what you need, Stan. What you need is some... Alone time. Yeah. No room, no audiences or distractions or willful fucking wishes. You need me and the void. That'll set you straight. Even death is better than this. This shit. This is beyond death. Yes, yes. Nothing quite changes a man like a trip to the nothing. Better? Not particularly. I, I can't feel anything. It's like being asleep. There's no responsibilities, no distractions. Must admit, even the void is better than that void of a room. Put me back. What's wrong? I don't like this. Please, shh, I... Shh, shh, shh. What, what is it? Did you hear that? No, I... Listen. Hear anything? I know. Isn't it wonderful? It's the sound of peace, Stan. Please stop it. Just stop. God, I'm losing my mind. I. Stanley, listen to me. Listen to me. If you stay in that room, you will never leave. I know it. You know it. You just aren't good enough, Stan. Perhaps you are better than most. Ambition runs through your veins and you shine bright because of it. But what use is shining bright when you're lying in a sea of stars, Stan? You'll be forgotten. Nobody will notice when you fade out. I don't know who I am. Why does it matter? Stanley, why, why does it matter? And who are you? Who the fuck are you? What, what the fuck are you supposed to be? Your single purpose in life, to bring me doubt, to make me miserable. Who are you? Just give in. Listen to me, Stanley. LISTEN TO ME! I'm a shitty comedian. Yeah, I'll admit that. What is it, 15 fucking shows? I'm yet to make the audience laugh. I'm socially inept and difficult to be around. And I don't have many friends. Not anymore. I'm forgettable. I'm unremarkable. I'm nothing! But I will be damned if I spend the rest of my fucking life as a failure. No. No, I will not just bend over, sit down, and let my life turn to shit. This is my one fucking chance to make something of myself, to be something of, of worth, of purpose. And I will not let you fuck this up. Not this time. You have no idea. I could fly higher than you could ever imagine. And if you can't understand that, then you're nothing just as much as I am.
Not nothing, Stan. Thank you, thank you. I, um... 